Hello, this is Aloisa with Math Leopard. Today we're going to prove that the inverse hyperbolic sine of x is equals to natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of quantity x squared plus 1. So let's get started. First we want to let y be equals to inverse hyperbolic sine of x, which is equivalent to saying that x is equals to hyperbolic sine of y. Well, what is hyperbolic sine of y? Hyperbolic sine of y is actually equals to 1 half the quantity e to the y minus e to the minus y. So we have the equality. x is equals to 1 half the quantity e to the y minus e to the minus y. Well, the first thing I'd like to do is get rid of the, the uh, fraction. So let's go ahead and multiply this equation through by 2, which yields the equation 2x is equal to e to the y minus e to the minus y. Now remember that e to the minus y is again a fraction. It's really 1 over e to the positive y. So in order to get rid of my negative exponent, let's multiply the whole equation once again, but this time let's multiply it by e to the y. So when I distribute, on the left hand side I'll have 2x e to the y, and on the right hand side I'll have e to the 2y minus 1. So this is quadratic in e to the y, so let's set it to 0. I have that 0 is equals to e to the 2y minus 2x e to the y minus 1. So what are my coefficients? Let's see, we have that 0 is equals to 1 times the quantity e to the y squared, minus twice x the quantity e to the y to the first power, minus 1. So using my quadratic formula, I have that e to the y is equals to minus negative 2x plus or minus the square root of quantity negative 2x squared, minus 4 times 1 times the quantity negative 1, all over 2 times 1. That is, x is equals to negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so now let's simplify this. We get that e to the y is equals to positive twice x plus or minus the quantity 4x squared plus 4, all divided by 2. Clearly, there's a 4 common to both terms underneath the radical, so we factor that out as a 2 but then there's a 2 common to both terms in the numerator and the denominator, so we simplify that. What we get is e to the y is equals to x plus square root of the quantity x squared plus 1, and why is that? Why don't I have the minus? Well, because the square root of x squared would be x, but because I'm adding 1, the square root of x squared plus 1 will be slightly greater than x. Hence, if I were to do x minus the square root of the quantity x squared plus 1, it would be negative. But we know that e to the y is asymptotic to 0 and is always positive, hence I can only have the positive term. So changing from exponential to logarithmic form, I solve for y, that is y is equals to natural log of the quantity x plus square root of the quantity x squared plus 1. Now remember, y was a substitution for inverse hyperbolic sine of x. So we've proven that inverse hyperbolic sine of x is indeed natural log of the quantity x plus square root of the quantity x squared plus 1. Thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time.